ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation uh, 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 to, to speak for you uh, about, about um, uh, the, um, the venues of co-chair and, and Europe. Um, I, it's both an honor and a challenge, um, but it is an honor, it goes without saying, that it's a challenge I have to explain by, by the fact that I'm neither a uh, political scientist nor a politician, although I had been for a while advisor to uh, liberal uh, minister of education, higher education matters, so I thought uh, I have had some limited exposure to, uh, uh, to politics. I'm, I'm a philosopher, uh, historian, um, and therefore, I uh, will have to leave the uh, discussion of the specific issues to the experts. Uh, and what, what I'm trying to, to speak about uh, is, uh, after laying out my cards on the table, um, is a foundational speech. And uh, it has been alluded to that the European presidency, while directing attention to Hungary, um, uh, it also put into the limelight uh, some of the um, internal uh, domestic uh, uh, issues like the media law, the new constitution, the uh, role of the constitutional court, uh, such slogans as the war of independence against the IMF, uh, retroactive legislation, nationalization of the private pension funds, and so on, uh, let alone the philosopher scandal. But I don't want to bore you with the uh, details of these stories, you know all too well uh, 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 what happened. Uh, it's well known to the expert, but what is the reason? Is there a kind of um, uh, common demino, uh, denominator uh, uh, behind this. And I suggest that there is. And uh, uh, a speech of, uh, of Orban, uh, then President of Fidesz, uh, uh, before the elections on 14 February last year. Um, the venue is a small village uh, south of Lake Balaton, and the format uh, is an informal gathering called um, Civic Picnic. Uh, uh, the the uh, uh, Hungarians know that there is a kind of um, <coughs> special delicacy in the taste of the term polgari, uh, which both b means both uh, a citoyen uh, uh, and uh, and a right wing uh, or left of uh, 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 sorry a right of centre uh, uh, political commitment. And now the organisers were various NGOs um, uh, sympathetic to. Uh, to Fidesz, belonging to its background. And it was the sixth gathering of this group, uh, which uh, began the meetings in uh, 2004, and now they have arrived to the 10th meeting. There are no set dates. Uh, there was another uh, uh, speech right after the election victory uh, last May. Uh, the audience, as you can, you can gather, uh, are politicians, writers, journalists, artists, sportsmen, Orban's personal allies and close supporters. This text uh, was published uh, however, uh, this was the only text which was published. Uh, the, uh, the other uh, uh, meeting ever since have uh, been um, kept uh, in, uh, let's say, beyond, beyond the scenes. The first two actions uh, in, the, in the wake of the, the, at the beginning of the election campaign was a kind of general agreement about the, uh, uh, the fuzzy, the rather fuzzy language and, uh, um, and its ambiguous. Uh, uh, some people would call it muddled uh, uh, formulations. Um, uh, Viktor Orban has a, has a penchant for ambivalent rhetorics. Uh, uh, in, a, in a recent interview, which you may have read, uh, to the uh, Foreign Cycle, um, uh, he, he even termed uh, debt, national debt, as they uh, characterize it as a sin according to the Bible, which it is not. Uh, it's never said in the Bible. Uh, or his other famous saying is that. Uh, only that we swim with the current, anybody who ever angled uh, uh, in, a, uh, in a river knows that it's not true. Um, so uh, it was before the elections, and the widely divergent interpretations ranged from uh, Andras Gerry's remark that it's, that it's a delirious ranting of a guy in a small village, uh, some Orban optimists, like Esther Bowers, who said that it shouldn't be misinterpreted out of context doesn't really specify what was the correct and the easy interpretation of the tax driver, uh, or uh, a frightening picture of a future where the institutions of democracy are more, mere ornaments of a basically one-party system. Mm -hmm. This was by a left-wing journalist. Now, at present, um, as far as I know, there has been very little attention devoted to, to how much the uh, 
the speech uh, manifested itself or was consistent with the, uh, the legislation uh, 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 which happened in the, uh, during the last year. Uh, there is one uh, notable exception by the um, uh, emeritus historian uh, of Yale University, Eva Bolo, uh, but she, she works in the United States and primarily uh, uh, in English. Um, okay, so let's, let's go to the speech itself. Uh, the, uh, the speech, um, the, the, the first uh, subject matter of Orban's speech centers around the idea of uh, our community, uh, stress on both. Um, that Hungary is a community of the Hungarians, uh, and it's very important. Uh, citizenship is not mentioned. Uh, Hungarian people is mentioned. This is the community of the Hungarian people. <coughs> and Hungary is a land of the Hungarians. Now, it's difficult to explain it in English, that when in Hungarian you write Hungarian with a, uh, 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 with a lowercase letter, uh, then it's an adjective uh, in the kind of ordinary sense. Um, which means that it has, uh, they have the quality of the uh, of being Hungarian, whatever that means. And the and the primary aim uh, of the government is to keep Hungary a Hungarian land. Uh, the same device is applied again. Um, Hungarian as an adjective, a characterization of the country. And uh, the reason for that is given by Orban, namely that the Hungarian king is special, since it represents a special Hungarian quality of existence. And uh, that ranges from cuisine to, to um, uh, gestures and greetings, and, um, and the, these are his examples. Uh, and this has to be maintained, uh, uh, preserved by, uh, uh, by the government. Uh, the next, then he moves on to the relationship between culture and governance. Um, and every society uh, is in need of an elite, and the elite uh, has a task. It ought to provide patterns or role models or examples of behavior uh, uh, for the rest of the country, the rest of the Hungarians. Uh, the quotation uh, says that the politicians of the government in power are expecting from the representatives of high culture, whatever that means, the impulses from which it becomes clear whether what they are working for still exists. In other words, the, uh, uh, that Hungarian culture and quality uh, uh, still exists. The diagnosis of the problems his uh, 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 government, well, he was, uh, was pretty sure of the election victory by that time, so he was uh, uh, setting out this diagnosis as the starting point for his program, um, that, I uh, quote, the real problem today in Hungary is that there are no set values which would guide the community in selecting the elite that could give them examples and models. So, since there are no such values, uh, it's solely the political success which justifies an elite. And the political failure, uh, failure of uh, the former elite, uh, which associates with the socialist liberal uh, 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 politics, which is a pretty um, I mean, um, fuzzy concept in itself, isn't it? I mean, uh, socialist and liberal are uh, uh, difficult to associate, uh, at least on the theoretical level. Anyway, they are discredited uh, by the uh, community promoting social liberal values representatives. So the spiritual foundations and the basic values of the governess have been shaken, and uh, two such pillars were shaken. One that, uh, this is again a quote, scientific capitalism has failed, which is I think a, a, a bad pun on uh, scientific socialism, uh, uh, which had been a uh, university subject for a while, probably uh, uh, Orban himself belonged to the last generation which had been subjected to uh, 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 to this course, it was a um, mandatory course uh, uh, during the, uh, the cover period. And secondly, that individualism is over. Uh, and the main problem now is uh, that there are two options, he says. Uh, a, either a bipolar realm, duality in Hungarian, or a central political field of power. Now, it doesn't really specify what he means by a bipolar realm, whether it's a necessary uh, or just something accidentally given in Hungarian politics, namely that at the moment there were two strong uh, uh, political uh, um, parties present, namely Fidesz and the, and the Socialists. Or is it government, be between government and opposition, uh, or right-wing and the, uh, 
social liberals or uh, the uh, 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 the Nidiash against the, uh, that is the folkish, um, against the urbans or the westernizers, or it's better described in the famous Russian uh, juxtaposition of Zapadniki and Narodniki. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, this situation is wrong, and that is the important point. Namely, uh, quote, there are no common values, no common goal in this dual field, but a constant battle about the most fundamental question. And apparently, um, uh, 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 to have a battle about fundamental questions is a wrong thing. So we have to solve this problem. How? Uh, Fidesz, and I quote, should build such a governing system that would reduce to a minimum the possibility of the return of the dual field of power. Instead, a central field of power would handle political questions. Otherwise, counter government, I think what is meant political opposition would return and with that the dual field of power. Uh, another quote uh, which uh, uh, further specifies uh, the, the, uh, uh, the solution is that one must realize a government uh, of national good. One must bring about, establish a government of national affairs which uh, should take the uh, uh, should take the pace of constant struggle. Instead of constant struggle, what we need is a constant governance, a constant governing. So instead of a two-party system, a large governing party will govern as they see fit. And consequently, the behavior and goals of this governance has to be represented in the public opinion. Uh, I think the conclusion uh, which uh, uh, addresses the role of the new elite is uh, follows, uh, or at least is consistent with uh, uh, what has been said. This new elite should be magnificent, noble, and dignified. And uh, this is the role of the new cultural uh, uh, government to, uh, 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 to, to support the uh, new elite uh, with the means for living like that. Now, admittedly, this is a rather vague text. Some ideas were not clearly spelled out, like community or high culture, cultural elite, value, social, liberal, or whatever. But I still propose the, I call it the colonialist principle of interpretation, which we may be familiar with. Uh, and he sees uh, <coughs> uh, 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 in his great madness monologue, he says, though this be madness, there is method in it. So uh, uh, what we have to look at is consistency. And uh, uh, to see how it was implemented in the first year of part, uh, I will certainly avoid historical analogies and names. Um, so let's see the summary of the argument in my interpretation. First premise is that individualism is replaced by community, and this is served by a lemma that neoliberal, left-liberal values are discredited. Uh, that is, uh, in a certain interpretation, uh, they are over. Uh, and by being over, they are dead and don't exist anymore. So this is why I added that existentially not needed anymore. Uh, Orban often refers to 68, that 68 is dead, it's over. Um, the community must have common values, and therefore to have common values is paramount uh, for politics, because politics is tied to value, this is a second level. So the problem is that debate is discordant with common values, um, and for example, he says in the, in the same speech that we have uh, a quote, uh, uh, quotation mark is missing, unfortunately. Uh, we have constant debates on values, not only political debates, but debates on values. So somehow the debates on values by political parties is detached from political debates. I, s I see some kind of fuzziness here. Uh, I don't think that they can be really separated, but uh, uh, at least this is the terminology which all are used. Therefore, what follows is that debates are harmful uh, because they, uh, uh, they harm the common values and therefore they should be avoided. Therefore, an elite not promoting debates is needed. And this is consistent with the uh, previous requirement of the magnificent, noble, and dignified way of living. So, um, uh, the, the, uh, the political, the guiding political principle seems to me on this is to reduce to a minimum the chance of the return of the bipolar realm. And this is the quotation. And, uh, well, uh, this is translated, or at least uh, 
can be argued that uh, it may be behind uh, the, uh, uh, the new legislation, which has a, uh, as you all know, the new constitution, which in the preamble defines values. Uh, some values are very interesting because modern Christianity uh, is introduced in it, as you know, and this is uh, against the consensus reached in the preamble of the Lisbon Treaty, as far as I understand. And the power structures are adapted to the central field of power, and for example, the media law seems to guard uh, the values and regulate this against these values. Um, I wouldn't like to go into the, uh, uh, the issues of the cardinal laws in detail because, again, just a, an educated amateur uh, 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 in this issue. But the, um, but the cardinal laws, which will be enshrined by the new constitution, have very little to do with the economic policy. That as well, not only with that, and, uh, but rather they fine tune the mechanics of the political power, like the elections that are defined as uh, the frequency of voluntary sessions, operation of the key branches of the states, the judicial system, um, which uh, uh, as it has emerged recently, the prosecution comes under the Ministry of Justice, and the discretion uh, also over assigning cases to judges. That's a very interesting <coughs> development, but you uh, know more, uh, you know more of that. So, um, so by enshrining these laws, the, uh, 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 the, the central field of power uh, will be uh, enabled to implement the uh, constant government. Um, we can also detect a kind of re-education of the people by the public programs. Once again, it's a recent development with the, uh, which goes hand in hand uh, with the reactivation of retired police and military personnel. So, some questions arise uh, to the attentive reader, I think, uh, uh, of, this, of this text. First of all, whether the arrangement of all political issues with the central field of power, whether it allows rights to the opposition um, as a principal right, and uh, does the reduction of the chances to return to the bipolar realm allow for the separation of power and for the checks and balances? And is the political idea of the central field of power compatible with the necessary consensus in a democracy? Does the exclusion of the binary realm allow for the freedom of press and opinion? And is a government organized survey of opinion, uh, as a uh, um, favorite uh, uh, reference by, by uh, Fidesz politicians about the Constitution, is it an implementation of the constitutional principle that the source of public power shall be the people? And the better, uh, the political idea of the central field of power is compatible with the idea of subsidiarity. Uh, and in kind of final and general question, what does permanent government mean for a democracy? And I'd just like to add to my question two liberal conservative quotations. Uh, one which I take from St. Augustine, uh, and it's one of my favorite texts. Arrogance has a certain appetite for unity and omnipotence, but only in the realm of, na uh, of nature, that is the realm of change, which all pass away like shadows. And my other one, which is all too well known, power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Thank you very much for your attention.